my junior year, I was not ready to go to college. And, um, I mean, I knew what college I wanted to go to and what I wanted to do, sort of. But um, I just, I wanted to think of a different possibility. And so I had known some people who had done this uh, program called Service Adventure through Mennonite Mission Networks. And so I looked it up. And um, uh, by uh, December of my senior year, I was all ready to go. And um, yeah. Uh, so this is my surface adventure group in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, and um, that's uh, Molly, Daniel, Jaren, and uh, Leah little baby Malachi and uh, it was definitely uh, very new because I had never really lived in the East Coast before and um, just uh, with people I had never met it was uh, very different and I was really nervous because uh, the first few months were pretty hard because I was <coughs> senior year was a really stressful year and so in service adventure, the first few months were just uh, battling a lot of personal demons. And um, sort of starting my service there wasn't the greatest combination, but I felt like uh, the outcome was fine afterwards. However, um, it was also the uh, hardest year for my family. And um, uh, you know, like, my dad had heart surgery, and my brother OD'd on Ritalin and nearly died of a heart attack, and so being nearly 3,000 miles away from my family while uh, being a construction worker at Habitat was, um, was very uh, excruciating. And, um, so uh, this March, uh, a bunch of people at my job participated in a cancer fundraiser for children, and so in honor, we got our head shaved, and uh, I have not gotten my hair cut since then. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it, it was really cool. It was super cold. It was about as cold as it is now, but um, it was just really cool that uh, how many people got their head shaved, and um, Plus, we got free tickets to a hockey game afterwards, so that yes. made up for it. <laughs> and um, uh, this uh, was our uh, group photo when we went to D.C. in May. And um, Jaren is not in the picture, the husband, because he moved out in December, which really changed things. But um, it was definitely hard. For uh, Leah, obviously, particularly, but um, after a lot of um, personal girl time with people from our church and uh, loving people from our congregation and taking care of her baby a lot, um, it, we made it through and uh, it made up for a really transformative and a really helpful experience and without it, I would not be here at Goshen.